Welcome back everyone, this is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Tesla is planning a massive ramp up in Model Y production output from Gigafactory Texas in quarter one 2023. In the meantime, the situation is a bit more complex in the United States with the pending tax credit. Tesla has been keeping us updated on the progress in the production ramp at Gigafactory Berlin, which has been producing 2000 Model Y electric vehicles per week since last month. The car maker is also simultaneously ramping production up at Gigafactory Texas. Tesla is a bit uh, more uh, tight-lipped, however, on the production rate at the Austin factory. Why? Tesla confirmed a production rate of 1,000 Model Ys a week back in June in, and confirmed having produced its 10,000 Model Y in September. But the company never confirmed a production rate of 2,000 units per week like it did for Gigafactory Berlin. Nonetheless, Electric has now learned that Tesla is feeling extremely confident about the production ramp at Gigafactory Texas. A reliable source familiar with the matter told Electric, according to the publication, that Tesla is currently preparing for 75,000 Model Y vehicles to come out of Gigafactory Texas, Giga Texas, next quarter. That's quarter one, 2023. That would put Tesla's production rate at Gigafactory Texas at over 5,000 units per week throughout the whole quarter. Even though Tesla is preparing for that kind of output in quarter one, 2023, it is not in a hurry to get there in quarter four, as it is still establishing the logistics to be able to handle that kind of volume increase in the United States. 5,000 electric vehicles per week is generally Tesla's goal for volume production and where Tesla wants to, wants to be with the Model Y at Giga Texas before moving its focus to Cybertruck production. And we have some very interesting news about Cybertruck as well. Additionally, sources familiar with the matter told Electric that Tesla is dealing with some level of cancellations in the United States right now due to the long wait times leading to some customers' situations changing between the time they place their order and the actual delivery. Furthermore, Tesla is also dealing with some customers looking to push their deliveries into next year to take advantage of the upcoming new electric vehicle tax credit. This makes sense. As we previously reported, Tesla is not um, as accommodating as other car makers when it comes to the new EV tax credit, and it is holding its customers to their order contracts. They can't push deliveries to try to secure the tax credit that comes into effect next year. Now, due to this situation, Tesla appears to be nervous about finding itself with a lot of vehicles in inventory in the United States like it did last quarter, thinks Electric. In the publication, Electric also says we have been starting to see signs that Tesla is having some demand issues in the United States, but it seems to be temporary primary due to the tax credit. So a lot of people are thinking if they can get tax credit next year, why hurry with the vehicle purchase this year? And if that's the case, you can also expect a surge in demand when the tax credit comes into effect in January. It appears that Tesla is getting ready with massive new output at Gigafactory Texas. You would think that the car maker could also try to ramp up production sooner in quarter four and build inventory for when that demand comes, but it looks like the automaker is being more cautious and trying to avoid having too many vehicles in the inventory at the end of the quarter. So what do you think about all of this, friends? A lot of interesting information about Giga Texas and the ramp up of Model Y production. Also, Cybertruck is coming up, and today is the day when Tesla is going to deliver the first semi-trucks to the customers. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this information helpful. Share on your social media and subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. God bless you and have a great day.